very fortunate to have a long and successful career as a DJ, producer, radio presenter, broadcaster, everything involved in music, actually from running labels, running clubs. So I've been involved um, in basically every aspect for the last 20 years. It was great to be recognized by the, the monarch of the country, the Queen, last year when she awarded me um, an MBE, which stands for Member of British Empire Medal. Um, for my services to DJing and music. I'm very fortunate because I'm the only one in the world to have received this honor, so I'm very proud. I still love DJing, still love traveling, and it was nearly one year ago that I came to Rome. Um, I hadn't been to Rome for maybe 10 years before, but I came last year, had a fantastic time, and um, my friends invited me back this year. I never really started out to be a DJ. I became a DJ purely by accident because I was the one that had or seemed to have the most records and seemed to have a good taste in music, which whenever I played the music, people seemed to dance to, to respond to in a positive way. So um, maybe it's a gift from God, I don't know, but it's something that I always found I was able to do naturally, even without thinking about it. And in time, that led to me being involved in the wider aspects of the music industry from running a label called Talking Loud many years ago with my uh, erstwhile friend and partner um, Giles Peterson, a big jazz DJ and one of my favorite DJs. And I was also involved in starting up um, the UK's first pirate dance station called KISS FM. I was the first DJ on the station and I recruited um, all the other DJs at that time who, who were unknown, who were just starting out, who are now very big DJs on the world club scene in their own right. DJs like um, Jazzy B from Soul to Soul, um, Judge Jules, uh, Cold Cut um, from the world of R&B and MTV, DJ Trevor Nelson, um, many of these DJs, Giles Peterson, yes, many of these DJs I was involved in bringing to, to the station. So yeah, I've been very lucky and really enjoyed my time doing all these aspects of um, working in the music business, but my first love was always DJing, playing records, making people dance. That's what I was born to do. Well, there is a difference to doing parties for celebrities, just like there's a difference with doing parties um, with festivals like Notting Hill Carnival or in small clubs. Obviously, my first love is to playing to people like myself, but when you're playing to A-list celebrities, um, that requires a different approach. Um, primarily, you have to remember that these people are not there for music. They're there to enjoy their own social company of each other. They're there to network with each other. And all your primary function is as a DJ is just to provide a, a good enough backdrop, sound backdrop to whatever they do. And also be able to be uh, discreet. Like every DJ, I always have my favorite staple classics, which I nearly always play. Part of the reason I always play these records is because um, for the people who know me wherever I play in the world, um, they always come and ask me, do I have such and such a record? Did I bring this Norman Jake classic 
it's a mood thing. Sometimes it's my favorite house track, other times it could be my favorite hip hop track or classic funky track, even my favorite jazz record. So it just depends on the gig what classics get played. But it's always a mixture of the best of the new mixed with the best of the old. Well, in the late 70s, I was just a kid, very young, very naive, didn't really know what was going on. All I did know that I was enjoying the music. In those days, it was just simply black music that I dealt with in all forms. There was no house music then. It was funk, soul, jazz, and reggae. But I was fortunate enough to be around at the birth of hip hop, electro, and house music as well. So, um, to me, you know, dance music or black music is an ever-broadening church. It, you know, it basically adopts the principles of jazz, which is free-form expression. If music doesn't experiment, it can't move forward. So out of all the experimental styles that people have been playing with over the years, that's how you get drum and bass, or R&B, or hip-hop, or jungle, or chill. You know, it's, music reflects real people's moods. You know, some people are happy, some people are sad, some people are melancholy, some people are euphoric. And there is music out there for all of those sorts of moods. I recently, about two years ago, had a film documentary made about me. It wasn't for television, not for Channel 4. It was actually a full-length um, film documentary made by an independent um, film producer who used to come to, uh, and still comes, to my big party in Notting Hill every year at the Notting Hill Carnival. And um, I realized many years ago that the future was definitely going to be in IT. Uh, on, on the internet, the websites, but even though I'm not very au fait with that sort of thing, I'm not very technical, um, I'm lucky to have friends who are internet whiz kids. So about four or five years ago they built me a website, I didn't even know what a website was. And um, five years on, it's one of the most popular music forums on the, on the internet, uh, with over um, you know, three quarters of a million hits in a week. So that's pretty good going, um, but it's simple to use. Anyone's welcome from anywhere in the world, black, white, green, yellow, whatever your sexual or religious persuasion, everyone's welcome and everyone has an opinion. So it's a very lively forum. And um, I suggest you should come and check it out. You're all welcome. So you should come to www.normanj.com.